Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro Heat Edition! Hey, I'm a ninja. We're back at the old grave. So let's take a look at the old grave since I'm here. Ooh, look at that. It's an old grave, but there's not just one old graves. There's two old graves, and there's a dragon blood droplet, which actually is kind of interesting that that's there. But uh, what do they say? I don't know, because it's all blurry! Actually, I wonder what's in that, that pot. I never really looked. It looks like three Sakura leaves are in there. Um, like Sakura tree leaves. So one thing I can do right now is drop into that building from the top. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's check out this building. Where we find... <gasps> it's, an, it's an assassin from Senpo. JK, it's not. What do you have to say? <sighs> Told those morons to give it a rest. But they don't. They just keep sending more. Such a pain in my... Huh? You one of them Nightjar cronies? No. Ah, of course not. There's something different about you. But I'd say you're in the same line of work. The name's Black Hat Badger. What's yours? Hmm. Sekiro. <laughs> That's his voice. Real sociable one, aren't we? First this stubborn lot, now a down in the dumb shinobi. And then, those Ashina boys raising hell outside. <sighs> Could this day get any better? You're a fugitive. Something like that, sure. By the by, I'm a little out of pocket these days. Got the goods, but no one to sell them to. Been waiting for someone like you to show up. Yo, I died to mid-boss a couple times, actually, so I don't have very much money. Black Hat Badger. We actually heard about Black Hat Badger before from the, uh... Those Senpo assassins were talking about him, and here he is. Now, if you ask me... This iron-ribbed fan has your name written all over it. With this, you won't pay arrows or bullets no heed. You never know. It might even hold against cannon fire. So what he's referring to is he sells Iron Fortress, which is a prosthetic. An iron fan made in the far west can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Experienced iron rib fan users can deflect arrows and even bullets using this tool. Passed down through generations of assassins serving Senpo Temple, it wouldn't be surprising if the next owner decided its weight was impractical. It kind of reminds me, it sort of makes sense in a way because it reminds me of the hats they wear and how the hats function, except for it's a fan version, which uh, if you use it actually ends up looking like the hats that they wear. Anti-air death blow text is another technique that you can unlock, which I've actually never used. I, I bought it, but I've never used it. Well, I'll be here, raking in the profits. Come back anytime you like. It actually is interesting to hear what he has to say uh, if you buy something. I, I think it's some good lore stuff, but which I'll try to do later. And everybody just saw me at once. This is awful. This is just awful. Especially this guy who has explo explosion power and wow, that was that was great. That went really well for me. Oh, I died, so they all lost interest in me. That death weirdly worked out in my favor. I mean, I would have rather not have died, but I mean, it helped me re-stealth, I guess. So it's probably better to come from the top as opposed to uh, the middle. But since I was already there, it's like, eh, that's all right. I think there's some stealth stuff you can do from the middle region coming up instead of down. Pretty sure there's a guy right around here somewhere. Unless it's the first one I killed, just patrols. Okay, so this bridge, if you recognize it, and let me get this right here, the black gunpowder. Down there, that's where the Snake Valley was. So this is where that uh, Samurai mid boss is. Just, uh, just past this wall over there. That's where the troll guy was, um, who had his hands tied back behind him that you could use fire to stun. Over this way, that's where the Headless is. And down this way, down that path, that's the Snake Path that we used to actually sneak into the Ashina Castle. And actually, maybe, I wonder, yeah, I think that's the Snake Path that you come out of. And you probably sneak over there, and that might be where the battlefield is. Um, so the game is a little interconnected. It's not. It's just not to the extent of like Dark Souls, and it doesn't really matter too much. It's nice, but it's not like anything you'll really be utilizing too much. You you do need to kind of remember it, but just kind of. Like you'll want to recheck out things because the game sort of progresses like Bloodborne in a sense. 
with a time to it. So that's where remembering things actually becomes important. Shut your mouth, clanky dude. All you do is piss people off. Probably not smart. Yeah, now the cannon guy is shooting a cannonball at me. It's exactly what I didn't want, and I blame it all on Clanky Dude. Actually, I'm going to come back down later, because I have a dude shooting a cannon at me, and that's a little more important to me. Oh, these gun guys are easy to kill, so might as well just knock them out real quick. So they're not shooting at me while I try to fight cannon fire, bro. Shoot, 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 shoot. No, no, no. He's going to kill me again, isn't he? God, it's actually kind of nerve-wracking. No! Seriously! Oh my god! I mean, I think I do have a second health... Or, yeah, I do have another revive left, because you actually get two. But you get one... Essentially, you get one resurrection, and if you kill enough enemies, you'll get a second one. So if you're fighting a boss and you haven't killed him, you can't. you can only use one resurrection during a boss fight. Although, if you get a kill on a boss, because they always have multiple death blows to them, it actually does count as a kill towards getting your second resurrection back. But, uh, still, I'd rather not use it. Alright, I think that's this area cleared out now, so I can go ahead and check what these items are now. Light coin purse, and gachin sugar. Still haven't got any confetti, I don't think. Where's my confetti at? Where's my divine confetti? That's what I want to know. And, oh, look at that. Another uh, another item on the rooftop. More sugar on the roof. It's like a fiddler on the roof, but it's sugar on the roof. It's the, it's the, the Japanese version of fiddler on the roof. It's called sugar on the roof. That's what I'm finding out from this game. Cue someone just chugging sugar and as they're playing music and complaining in a very Jewish way. Oh no! No, I was so hoping that I would get the stealth kill on that guy. Now look, I don't, I don't mind trying to fight him, but again, it's just the fact that there's two enemies at once that kind of trips me out with it. Since he is a harder enemy. Oh, oh, that's a sweep attack. Shoot. Eh. Nah. Hey, did you did you see that time when I noticed that and I dodged towards you but didn't count it? Okay, dodge towards you. Come on, do it again, do it again. Because those assholes. Oh my god. It sucks so much. I hate fighting two at once. Oh shit. Alright, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Damn, you're just gonna keep on chasing me, huh? Again, it's just the fact that there's two. That's really what's difficult about this. If it was just one, it'd be like, alright, whatever. Shoot. Nope, that's a jump. Don't do! I knew it was a dodge in, but the other enemy fighting coming to attack me. Come on. No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No! No, no, no. <sighs> He's gonna get all this stamina back, and I do actually want to go ahead and kill him. Come on, come on. Do whatever attack you want against me. So I can try to get my damn kill. Mm -mm. He's so close. Oh, that's a jump. Shit. Okay, there we go. I was running away, and I didn't need to. Now, the sad thing is I'm just going to reset anyway, so I get my health back. I really don't need to here, actually, but... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on chugging and charging forward. Since I'll just... I'll, I was going to kill the less difficult of the two of these guys. But I'll kill the more difficult just to be safe. Alright, so now that this area is 
Well, okay, it's not quite clear that yet. First, I gotta take care of the other gin gunman. I was about to call him a gin man. The other gin man. So there actually is an area to try to go for up here, which uh, is it here that gets you there? There's like a sp oh here we go. This side you get up there. If you jump on this roof set, you can go over to this side, where you'll find some money, or not money, whatever, scrap iron, but a special item. Over there is actually safe, you can drop there, but we'll check it out later without dropping. And here's more water, there's not really much to do in it, but just to show it, I guess, <laughs> to actually explore it. You see not really too much here. Although, if you had dropped down from the moat, that, as opposed to walking through here, that's one way to get to these various uh, sculptor's idols. So, cool. Yeah, let's keep on going forward then. Into yet another new horizon. All right, so over there to the left, that's the area that wasn't explored. Honestly, there's really nothing here except for a couple monkeys, which you don't have to fight. Um... I'd say just run through it. Honestly, that's, there's no reason to kill the monkeys. Unless you really want that 19 experience that they give you. Honestly, just, just run through it. And what you will find is some items. I don't think there's anything on top of the roof, but let's double check. No, there isn't. I don't think there's anything on top of this roof either, actually. Which I'll check as well. Nope. Okay. So, if you maybe saw, there's another Sculptor's Idol right here. For the Great Serpent Shrine. And we found yet another path that you can take. So, if you remember, there was the Dojo, and I didn't finish going through that path. And that's one of the paths. And here's yet another one. And then there's also the Reservoir I haven't checked out yet. And there's also the, uh, there's that Shichimen that I wanted to kill, and I haven't done that yet. So a whole bunch of areas for us to explore. So you don't have to go this way. I didn't realize that you could even go this way at first. If you drop down to the left, it's an easy way to drop down onto that path you can see right there. But if you jump over the way I did, that's how you get this item you can see in the distance. And you can't go back that way, so only way to go is down from here. So let's go ahead and do that. Make it so I don't get hurt. And we find yet another Sculptor's Idol right next to this. And there is a reason I realized later for why these are so close together. But uh, Under Shrine Valley, which I'll talk about as that happens. Man, I only have two attack power. I need to face more bosses. So this is the direction you don't have to head to. Uh, essentially, this is like going backwards, which is why I'm going to do it first, because you always got to explore backwards first. It's important to go the wrong way first always. Uh-oh, should have... I tried dashing into him, but I thought about it too late, so... Oh, well. It's actually pretty cool going through this like little ice cavern style area. Now I've been wondering is why, well, never mind. I was going to say why you can't just climb from the bottom, but I guess it's like that idea of it's too precarious clinging to the bottom part and walking along. All right, so this area becomes a little more difficult if you come to it later in the game. Things kind of change up with time. But you do find a prayer bead here, so it's worth checking out. But yeah, like I said, it, it becomes more difficult if you explore it later on. So if you want to just get the items here really easily this is a good time to explore it just for getting and finding the items before time progresses. Because, yeah, as time progresses, various things happen that make the game more difficult. And you see a little pond here. Not really too much that you can do with it at the moment, but do remember it and bear it in mind, as with all bodies of water in the game. And, yeah, but it's still worth coming here regardless to get the prayer bead. So... Uh, definitely, definitely worth doing, because now I can get more vitality and more posture, which is always going to help out a lot. So, again, if you're having struggle trouble with bosses, um, as you've noticed, I haven't really fought too many bosses recently, because I explored all the Senpo Temple, there wasn't a boss I could fight. I explored all here, no boss I could fight. I mean, there's been mid-bosses, but for the most part. So, it's really just 
uh, but I've been getting prayer beads anyways just from exploring, and I've been getting uh, gourd seeds that make it so it's going to be easier anyways, no matter how much I'm struggling. So definitely worth bearing that in mind if you're having trouble with the game. That just how much of the game you can properly explore. Dude, that was really not cool of you to shoot me while I was flying at you in midair. Really not okay with that, actually. I just call that super rude. Don't think there's anything down there. So, we shall continue forth to a cliff. Nay, to a bramble. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to hear me at first. I was really excited. I was like, ha-ha, you didn't hear me. But sadly, sadly he did. If you notice, there's a path down there to explore. There's also a path above, and I think the path above is the one that leads to the hidden items. So, which we will find out in a second. Shh, you don't see anything. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Shh. He's asleep again. Somehow this dude didn't notice. That's all right. I thought he was looking right at me, but I guess not. I guess not. And yeah, if you look around a bunch, you'll notice that there's yet more to explore. And again, as I was saying, there's all these great things you can find. We get some yellow gunpowder, which is an upgrade material. And... What that? A gourd seed. I was trying to remember if I had read the lore of the gourd seed before, but I'm pretty positive I did in one of the early episodes. So yeah, there you go. Got that gourd seed. So now we have seven Estus flasks, essentially. It's basically an Estus flask. So again, that's going to help out with any bosses that you're struggling with, just to have more heals. Because a lot of times that is the issue, is not being able to heal enough, I think. At least, in my opinion. Oh, whoops, I just went back. I just went back to where I came from. Don't do that. I mean, unless you want to. I wanted to go down. So I could get this ceramic shard. So interesting, man. Ceramic shard, so good. So good. 10 out of 10. Just what I wanted and dreamed about. You need to go. Oh, you know what I just realized? That I've been upgrading a stupid path. Because there's something that makes it so you deal more posture damage and all that. From the Ashen attacks. But, oh well. I, I now have six skill points, so I might as well finish off the text that I'm working on. It's not really a big deal, but it kind of is a big deal to me. This is the easier the enemies here. Actually, there's a couple easier enemies here. Because, yeah, there's this guy too. The cannon-wielding guys are actually, in my opinion, kind of difficult. Because they have a decent amount of health. Don't see me. He saw me. Shoot. The gig is up! The gig is up! He's seen me. Because these guys just have so much damn poise. It's crazy. Like, you attack him, but he poises right through it. I mean, it's not like they're that difficult when you're one-on-one, -on -one, but it's just the amount of poise that they have is cray. Z. I mean, I'm doing like a decent job of hitting him at the right time and everything, and I do, I think you can actually uh, McKitty counter kicks, but I don't know if it's any kick or if it's only when it's a, uh, like a special kind of kick. I think I can test it out with him. You gonna, you gonna kick? No? Okay. I guess I won't test it out with him. Fine. You're not gonna be my test dummy. I mean, that's your, you're missing out, man. I gotta say, that's on you, sorry. Yo, what's up? What's happening? The gun fort was even more formidable than we'd heard. We were reckless to go in unprepared. It takes me back. I can hear the Senpo temple bell. Yeah, well, maybe it's because you're using the bell demon when you shouldn't have. That's what I gotta say. No remorse. Let's use one of our prayer beads and get another one. And then we'll get some sweet lore. The 
The bull was a fiery, rampaging beast and nothing more. In the last great war, the corpses of Ashina's samurai piled high. Something had to be done. So that's why they were trying to get all these like crazy beasts and all that to protect. Basically. That's really all that tells us. It's like, okay, because the last war went well badly. Let's make crazy ass mountain zombies. Some of you will get that reference. Uh, don't need to travel right now. Let's, uh, what was I gonna do? Acquire a skill. I went too far. So yeah, the Ashina attacks are actually what I think I should be going for because some of these latent effects are pretty good. But since I have it, might as well just get Shadow Rush because Shadow Rush is pretty cool. Uh, and it's good for some enemies. And also there's something that we can do specifically because I got Shadow Rush, which I'll show later. So yeah, basically right now it's those snipers are shooting at me from the gun fort that we're just hearing about. And we have what I find to be one of the most difficult mid-bosses in the game, actually. I always struggle with him. Uh, Snake Eyes. These type of mid-bosses. I just, I don't know. I'm not good at them. And I think for that kick, I have tried to uh, Mikiti counter it before, and it didn't do anything. Nope. So just want to point that out, that I have tried that Mikiri counter. Oh shoot. That thing, I've tried jumping over it, it doesn't work. If you dodge backwards, it doesn't work. So I'm kind of at a loss of how you're supposed to get out of the way, so I just kind of freak out anytime he does it. Like, jumping away from it works, but just jumping straight over to try to get the counter on him doesn't work. Is what I mean. I gotta really watch for that turnaround. No, no, oh my god. Again, this guy... Shoot! Gives me so many struggles. I'm just no bueno at him. No, 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 no. That hurts you pretty decently when it gets you. No, shoot, shoot, shoot. See, I'm like overcompensating for how far I go. Because I would be able to get a strike on him. Oh, okay, see. Oh, yeah, it doesn't Mikiti counter. So, whatever. This is worth testing, right? Sure. I'm going to say yes. So I feel better about myself for doing it. But I am letting him get his uh his meter back up. Yeah, I guess if you dodge into that though, he doesn't hit you and it allows you to actually hurt him, so that is worth noting. Yeah, so even if he gets you from the side there. Oh, that's gonna be a full death. That counts as a full death because he hit me off the edge. I wonder how much money I just lost. Do I even wanna know? It's gonna make me angry. Probably. Probably. I mean, I'm dying on purpose. Again, just so I can progress the lore, guys. 100%. It's a lore thing, trust me. Okay, so Unseen Aid hasn't happened yet, but basically it makes it so you don't lose your stuff if you die. Or like, so you don't lose your skill points when you die, you don't lose your money when you die, and you have a 30% chance of getting it which just shows at the bottom there, Unseen Aid, 30%. It's next to the Vitality and Attack Power. Um, yeah, so... So here's where I think uh, this skill can actually come in handy. That... Oh, shoot. I was going to attack. That shit. So for some of these enemies, it's actually pretty... Shoot. No, 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 no. No, no. You can usually get a bunch of hits on them with it, but this one uses spirit emblems. It only costs one, wait, how many does it cost? It costs two. What I don't I don't quite understand is that you can still do them even without using up spirit emblems if you've run out. So I'm not sure what aspect of it is, but yeah, so it can help a lot for some of these mid bosses is the point. I was gonna try to beat him without using it, but whatever, it works for me showing it off, I guess. Because some of the mid-bosses, it really does work incredibly well for. Uh-oh. Like, it's not really getting his posture down too much. But at the very least, it is... You know, the more damaged he is, the, least, the less his posture is going to come back up and recover. And I don't think blocking, like, shots actually helps either. Which is part of why I think he takes so damn long. Oh my god. So bad against him. Like, embarrassingly bad against him. 
Shout out Snake Eye Trouble Crowd crew. Where's my Where's my Trouble of Snake Eyes crew at? It's gonna turn out there's some like really easy method I just don't know. Outside of the obvious, get good. The no 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 come on no. Your death is not your fate. Just yet. <coughs> okay, Ron Essence Sculptor. Somewhere pain cough rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building flames. Owing the Owning this item reduces one's chances of receiving unseen aid, which we were just talking about, and also it for Tim and Maid. Somewhere a pain cough rings out continuously, the coughing and wheezing sounds of an old woman deeply worried about her beloved master. Uh, who is this one? Owning this item reduces one's chance of receiving aid. Who's deeply worried about her beloved master? What? Oh, I lost five. Oh, wow. I've been losing a lot of gold for dying that guy. I guess I've lost 1,500 gold now. If I lost 500 for that. Uh, okay, so basically what happened is he got a disease called Dragon Rot, which we're going to find out. So I guess lore time. <coughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Dragon Rot. The stagnation overflows and spreads a disease that leads eventually to death. What are you talking about? You don't need to worry about me. I'm not normal, you see. It's difficult for me to speak now. Ask Emma about the rest. I totally did this on purpose for the lore, guys. Ask Emma. 100%. Sculptor, I don't need your concern. I'm not. No mere dragon rot will kill me. Okay, so he caught something called dragon rot, right? And that's what we're seeing about with those rot essences are people who have dragon rot who caught it. Have you seen the sculptor lately? Yes. He's... All I know is what Dogen told me long ago, that the dragon's heritage can bestow the power of resurrection. However, it is not any ordinary power. Repeated use leads to stagnation, which will eventually reach a point where it overflows. This causes those who do not have the power to become sick, a disease known as dragon rot. He knew much about it, but even so, he was unable to determine a cure. Forgive me. Is there a way to treat this dragon rot? I do not know. However, it must be stopped. I am unsure. But the first step is to look through my mentor's research and see if I can discover a way. Thank you. Let's at least get another gourd seed out of that. There must be a way to treat the dragon rot. The first step is to look through my men. Okay, so she starts Goodbye. repeating herself there. If I have 550 gold, so now this guy's over here too. Hey, it's you. Thanks again for bailing me out back at Ashina Castle. I'm gonna be hanging around here for a while. I need time to sort through all the info I've got. Speaking of which, I'm happy to do business with you anytime. Interested? No. Oh. So you're looking for goods instead of info, huh? I've always had sticky fingers, I guess. I end up collecting lots without really noticing. I got fed up with all the offerings and memorials, so I left the mob. But when I see a dead body, I can't leave it unpilfered. <laughs> Besides, property can belong to anyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Hey, friend. If they've got all kinds of strange ones in there now, and lots of them at that. I know the interior ministers are afraid of Ishinashina, but it looks like they've found their nerve. Tide might be turning for Ashina. Hey. 
Hey, friend. If you go into Ashina Castle, be careful. They've got all kinds of strange ones in there now, and lots of them at that. I know the interior ministers are afraid of Ishin Ashina, but it looks like they've found their nerve. Tide might be turning for Ashina. Okay, so that's actually some really important lore that he says there about the interior ministers being afraid of uh, Ishin Ashina and the fact that they're starting to rebel essentially against them. I just need three more gold. Just need three more gold. Ah oh, well. Until next. So we can also get more lore by resting, but yeah. So essentially, that's like the battle that we've been hearing about is the interior ministry. As as we keep on hearing referenced. So yeah, you progress time by resting, and now Emma is with the sculptor. So because of that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do the eavesdrop thing. Now, I'm not sure if you have to do this for an ending or not, if I'm being honest, but just in case, for one of the possible endings, I, you might need it. So this is where I was talking about remembering that there was this uh, area here. Yes, that should be enough. Thank you, Orangutan. Emma, what are you going to do with the coughed up blood of an old bastard? I'm going to research the dragon lot. I want to find the cure for it, Orangutan. I'm doing this for your sake, too. You are, are you? I don't need your meddling. I'll get over it on my own. Hmm. Now then, let me take a look. Dragon rod infected blood. How exactly is this illness caused? <laughs> Dogen, Emma's just like you. Alright, so, just a bunch of lore stuff on them that Emma obviously knows who the sculptor is and his name or at least what she refers to him as is Orangutan which he's a shinobi so it might be similar to you how you're just named and called wolf you know maybe you're just like the animal that represents what you seem to be like what are you doing hmm oh I didn't realize you were here the sculptor has been coughing blood I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research a sample of his blood. Yes, blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted, stagnant. But the sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes, bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I come across anyone afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. So thank you. Yeah, this is actually important for again for lore Goodbye. stuff. So we do know one other person who uh, is the timid maid. Who again, I actually can't remember who the timid maid is. Um, old woman deeply worried about her beloved master. Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. For my, I need you to find. I'll see what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, if I'm, if I'm below the rest uh, of them. You're here too. <laughs> it's so busy here today. Sculpt. I know. Okay, so that's all we get out of this for now. But if you rest at the statue, which we're going to do, it's going to again progress the story a little bit further. Or the sculptor's idol. Whatever you want to call it. I'll call it whatever I like. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Me too. For my research, I need you to find me blood samples from others who are afflicted. I'll see what I can... Thank you. Okay, whatever. She's saying Goodbye. the same thing. She just left, I guess. Uh, I can't remember if the timid maid is the mom, but I don't think it is. I'm going to just fast cut. I'm going to like try to explore and see if I can find who it is real quick. And fast cut it so you guys don't have to see me just looking around. Actually, I forgot that I was going to be coming right here right away, so this was a spot I've been wanting to go back to since I got the info for him, so let's go ahead and talk to him now we have his info. Hey, good sir! I found out what the samurai want. Oh, you mean it, good sir? Yes. It seems they're low on salt. Salt, you say? Well, you eat it, of course, but it's also good for purifying the dead and putting on wounds. Diseases spread quick with rotten corpses on the battlefield. Everyone's scrambling for salt. <laughs> that means 
Now's the time to cash in. <sighs> Lots of people need salt. I mean, karma shouldn't bite me if I sell it for a tad more than the going rate, right? Ah, now that that's decided, it's time to get me some salt. Thank you very much, good sir. Sure. So, yeah, if we rest again, again I'll stock some new he'll have sure a new mission for us. So, actually, let's go ahead and do that, just so we can see the new mission. So, yeah, I said I wanted to do one thing, but, you know, game keeps on progressing in different ways. <laughs> so, again, progression of the story, just resting at the sculptor's idol. And just like that, we'll be able to see his new wares and find out yet another story progression with him. Good sir! Good sir! Listen here! My salt? Hmm? I sold it for quite a pretty price. You know it's in high demand. And that means I'm loaded with cash and product. Look, look, I've got some new items too. Buy something, please. Okay, so you can see, see he has a decent amount more. Actually, I'll buy another light coin first just since I have enough for it right now. But he has various gunpowder and scrap iron. So just a little bit more. Oh, good sir, listen here. Is this about your business? Ah, you know me so well, good sir. <laughs> it smells like a war's brewing these days. I could make a killing if I take advantage of this. Which is why I have a favor to ask of you, good sir. What is it? Looting battlefields. That's the job. I mean, that's a great way to refresh my stock, right? There are dead bodies all over a battlefield. It's a gold mine, huh? Spears. Swords, armor, it's all free and for the taking. Weapons should fly off the shelves thanks to the war preparations. What qualifications do you need? Well, let's see. Looting the battlefield is a dirty, disgusting, and physical job. I'm looking for someone who's big and strong and thick. All right, so that's where you could use Kotaro. Greetings. Go on. Until next time. I'm counting on So yeah, it's yet another Kotaro. Uh, possibility so again you can send Kotaro to the abandoned dungeon you could send him to help out this guy or you could do Kotaro's uh, wanted quest line I actually find it uh, the full quest line if you send him to help out that guy to be uh, I, I like it I think it's interesting but it's not necessarily happy so yeah all right guys I'm gonna fast cut it to uh, whenever I find the person who I'm looking for if I do find them <laughs> The dragon rot. Okay, so it is her. Inosuke. Inosuke. Yes. Protect the young master. You hear? All right. We are counting on you. All right, take cough to blood sample. I'm taking a blood sample. <laughs> <laughs> dragon rot blood sample. Blood sample of a dragon rot victim contains stagnated blood. Emma can use this to find a cure for dragon blood. To Lady Emma. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'll go the quick way, which is the homeward idol, back to the dilapidated temple where she's at. And yeah, then then I don't have to die anymore. All these times I've been dying on purpose just to progress the story. You know, just no more deaths are gonna happen. That's this is the last one. We're done with full deaths. It was fun. It was. We had some laughs. We had some jokes as we it happened. But you know, some lost money and experience that was totally on purpose. Uh, that I totally wouldn't have cashed in before. Totally. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. I've obtained one. A blood sample. Let me see. The coloration is very similar to the sculptor's. The color is just slightly tainted, but what's this? Hmm. Huh. Do you have enough blood? I believe so. Allow me to continue my research into the dragon rot. When we speak again, it's likely I'll have made a breakthrough. In fact, count on it. I can now continue my research when we speak again. In fact. Oh goodbye. man, I wonder how long it's going to take. It could take eons for her to finish her research let's rest just to think it over about how long it'll take emma to do that thing and ask her about it again i've been waiting for you any progress yes 
I've found some answers. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from another source. From those that have the dragon rot? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rot, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes, by giving back what has been taken. Here you are. So there you go, that's what the Dragon's Blood Droplet does, which I'll now read. An item that is rarely dropped by a divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Which is why it's interesting that it was by the old grave. Remember that. Keep that in mind. Using it will slightly increase resurrective power. Restore the power of life to those who have been drained of it by offering this drop to the sculptor's idol with the recovery charm in hand. In turn, all afflicted with the dragon rot will be healed and the incessant coughing must cease. Recovery charm. A dragon rot recovery charm created by Emma. With this charm, one can offer a dragon's blood droplet as sculptor's idol to restore all afflicted with dragon rot back to health. The charm contains a dragon rot victim's blood, which Emma managed to purify and solidify into a bloodstone. So much smarter than Dogen. I'm glad you've come. There was a dragon rot epidemic in Ashina once before. Back then, a cure was not achieved. Every single person who caught it died. I see. It is my hope that finally discovering the cure has alleviated this regret, if only a little. How there convenient that you literally just figured out of now. Goodbye. But that is interesting to note that it's this has happened before, right? Um, the dragon rot. So let me just check one thing before I progress the story again, if resting gives her more. Because if you cure dragon rot for people, it actually is going to progress the storyline a little more, which you do want to do. I'm glad but, um, there was a dragon rot. Okay, so yeah, that's all goodbye. we get. So still some good lore stuff. And I do want to talk about dragon rot versus... Um, a little bit versus what um what we've been seeing with the infected as it's different but let's let's talk to Emma first it seems the sculptor's dragon rot has been cured yes please give this to him Ashina Sake, a bottle of Ashina Sake given by Emma. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. While it does not contain water from the fountain head, it is made from the purest of waters and is a drink beloved by the people of Ashina. What is it? <laughs> it's his favorite tea. I thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate his return to health. I'm glad you've come. Oh, whoops. Oh, I can try to treat her to it. I brought Sake. That is unexpected did we not mean to celebrate the sculptor's return to health please share it with him but i want to share with you emma <laughs> there was a dragon back nice. it all is right for some reason i thought she had Goodbye. something else that she'd say um or that she would move into the sculptor's area again but i guess since I we have some tea. sake <laughs> did you know quite the busybody aren't you why you gotta be a dick man no matter what i do though you look so Alright, so might as well give him both of these, just to do lore. I mean, there's gonna be more booze you can give him, but we'll at least do these two. I brought some tea. Mmm, this tea smells pretty good. Suppose I'll have some. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. About Lady Emma's father? Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. It didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. And we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. The first version was a complete failure, didn't work at all. So he remade it. Then he remade it again and again, countless times. <laughs> what? 
He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly, so Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After much training of that sort, it came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? So much time has passed. While I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone I could not bear to abandon. So there you have a um, bunch of background on the prosthetic, where it came from, Dogen, who that is, and uh, about him being Emma's father, which we already knew, but a lot more about him, and that he's the one who created the prosthetic arm, and that it was essentially, here we go, it was for... Um, our orangutan. There we go. Orangutan. I brought something for you. Monkey booze, is it? Mm. Oh, it burns the throat, same as ever. This really brings back memories. Did you drink this often? I trained in the techniques of the shinobi, in the valley where the monkeys dwelled. By yourself? No, there were two of us. We were rogue shinobi. There was no proper master for the likes of us. That's why we went to the valley. To run, to jump, to clash swords. Where one slip would mean your doom. That was how we trained. We came to move exactly as monkeys did after a time. <clears throat> I'd drink this monkey booze whenever I tired of training. And I'd listen to the howl of my partner's whistling finger while I drank. Howl? It was from his unique ring. Whistling through that ring would fill the valley with a somber melody. Strangely enough, I enjoyed that sound. I listened to it so often. No matter what I thought you were... So... What he was talking about right there with the the melody in the ring and that he has another partner, all that stuff that's worth bearing in mind um, and just keeping it. Both the fact that he had a finger, right? That he had uh, that ring, all that stuff. Just try to try to keep that in mind. I'm just seeing if there's any story progression stuff. I guess not. So we're going to go back to the gun fort again so I can actually kill that asshole uh, in the sunken valley. <laughs> uh, I'll quick cut if I die to him and... Uh, but while I'm fighting him, I'm going to talk about Dragon Rot versus um, Infection. So, going to go ahead and cut to fighting him at this point. I, well, whatever, I'm already loaded in. So, either you'll see cut to a death at this point, or you'll see... Oh! Oh! I missed the R1 button that I was trying to press. Oh. Hey, dude, I'm not your biggest fan. In fact, I really don't like you. After everything that's happened, after a really close call, a death I didn't think I deserved, you know, that. Oh, shoot, shoot. Man, I'm just like not getting any of these counters like on him. Like none of it's working. Okay, that'll at least work. Yeah, so I will talk about Dragon Rot. I actually talked about the first time that I fought him where I almost beat him. But uh I decided that if I if I don't get to the second phase, it's just kinda worthless <laughs> to talk about it. So I'll wait until I get to the second phase and then I'll talk about Dragon Rot stuff. But yeah, I wanna try to stay on him just to keep his uh just to keep that up. Wow, I keep on... Sometimes I feel like the R1 just doesn't work properly. I don't know. and it, I know it's a stacking thing, probably, but... Like, I'll... I think you can hear me tapping it and just nothing happens. So, I don't... I don't know. I'm sure I'm just mad because I'm doing so bad against him. Alright, so let's talk about Dragon Rod versus Infected, eh? Why didn't I get any health back for that death blow? I thought you did, usually. 
It's because he's that annoying of an enemy. Oh, shoot. That was the chance that I can actually hit him, so I need to take advantage of that. So... No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Lucky me. Yeah, one of, one of the problems I'm running into with him is that I'm not, um... I'm not paying as much attention to my posture as I need to. So he'll, like, get rid of my posture because I'm not properly healing it up. I mean, luckily he misses when he kicks you down. Like, that's definitely, a, like, a fortunate thing with him. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm pressing R1 as soon as I finish, uh... As soon as I get the deflection, and I don't know why it's not working some of those times. Uh-oh. I'm gonna use this opportunity to heal, actually, since I'm a little lower on health than I would like. Just for the sake of he could insta-kill me with, uh, if I screw up. Oh, he's back at that point, but that's alright. I'll risk it, I guess? Not the smartest decision in the world, but, um, I'm gonna go for it anyways. Uh-oh, yep, see, there's the, like I said, if you have just, like, a little bit down and he gets that combo on you, that's it, man. That's it. Nope. Shoot. I didn't think he was going to try to shoot there. No, 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 no. I gotta punish you for that. I have to punish you, man. I want you to kick again, but you're not doing your kick. You're just trying to sweep me, and I don't like it. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Stop doing the kick, and that's when I can usually get a guaranteed hit on him. There you go, by like swooping in. I mean, one of the things that I should be going towards, I see this till I see the sparks, and I haven't been. Like I'm just that would do a little bit better for me. There we go. Finally. Oh my god, was that annoying? And I'm not even gonna get health for because he or money because he fell off. <laughs> so I'm so bad against them. All right. Anyways, let's talk. Let's have some fun and talk some dragon, some lore stuff. All right. So dragon rot versus uh, infected. So basically, what we're kind of seeing here with dragon rot, as opposed to the infected, is the infected. As there were so many in Senpo Temple, even though we had all those monks who were dead that we found, I don't think, I don't think it infects people the way that uh that dragon rot does like it obviously infects you and makes you become those corpses and like all that stuff where like cockroaches come out and the centipedes take over but i don't think there's anything negative to other people in the same way it's just not really true immortality whereas the dragon uh heritage that you have i think that would be more of a true immortality which is why people want it so much uh and why it's so desired is that unlike the dragons um the dragon, sorry, the infected that we've been seeing, like, this, other people have to suffer for you. So, like, if you die like I have been, it's going to infect other people, but not you. Like, you will be fine. So, it's a really negative thing overall, because you can, as we found out, like, really screw over for other people. Like, really, really screw them over, if you're selfish. Um, but, again, it's going to be that true immortality. So... I'm not sure how it works with old age, obviously, but that would be the major difference to me. So if you look at the ground here, those yellow things are actually explosives that will go off and uh, and wake all these guys up, like this guy right here. So you want to watch out for those. Uh, honestly, like I kind of just step on them and don't care about it, so I just I'm like, eh, people can come. I want to explore, whatever. Usually, but. You know, it's not a bad idea to try to stealth everyone first. I mean, most of these guys are pretty easy. So it's not the biggest deal in the world if you step on these mines. But there are some enemies who are better to try to avoid that with. Uh, this guy up here is one who you can stealth kill. I think this is actually the first time I discovered you could do it was actually on this guy. And, uh... Oh, lucky me that I actually got... Well, never mind. That's not the hardest thing to stealth. Damn it! This is what I was hoping wouldn't see me. It was this guy. Because these are... The other guy's easy to kill. This is the guy who I was hoping to stealth. Not that these are hard, but they're just harder. Well, might as well just pop everything. Screw it. They know I'm here. I'll blow up all the things. Yeah, you can now all know where I'm at. Party... Party city here. 
And what I'm going to go ahead and do, actually, is there is a sniper that I missed. Where I'm going to go back and kill while they're all running around trying to figure out where I am. And uh, there was another direction, too, that I didn't go, which was this direction, I think. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Actually, I did not realize that. That wasn't exactly how I was planning it. So, you might have noticed there was a step I jumped over from there. How do I best get over there? I don't remember anymore. I thought there was a branch you could jump on. Maybe from here I can find it. Or it might be from this branch. You can, Yeah, there we go. This is how you get back. So yeah, if you fall down there, which I'll do on the way back, it's fine. You will survive. You will survive. But I'll show it on the way back so you guys can see that. Because my first time ever playing the game, I didn't jump in time and that killed me. So the reason that I didn't go down here earlier is because if you do go down here, all the snipers over there will see you and it's very likely that you'll die. So I think it's better to... Although you could pretty quickly make a getaway, but I think it's like, if you want to be safe about it, you know, do what I just did, where clear them out first, you can come back and get that antidote powder just as a, as a safety to it. And that mid-boss that I just killed, who I was having so much trouble with, the Snake Eyes, isn't a required mid-boss. So if you're really struggling against that one, just honestly, just skip it. <laughs> just skip it. Whatever. <laughs> So there is another mid-boss coming up that I do want to do this let's play. So this might end up being a little bit longer of a one because of all my deaths and everything. But um, it's something that I, I would like to do. So I'm going to do it anyways because, you know, again, it's something I want to do. So why not? Whatever. Why not do what I want and play the game the way I want to play it? Don't see me. 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 Okay. So, oh, damn. Damn. You lucky son of a gun. I can't believe you noticed me. We're going to take you this way because there's two more of those guys. And I don't want to deal with two of them. Over here is a cave, by the way, if you're curious. Again, it's not that they're hard. It's just that they have a decent amount of health and they poise through a lot. So, it's annoying when there's more of them. And their, their gun actually does a decent amount of damage if it hits you. So, again, if there's a couple of them... It's gonna it's actually gonna be pretty bad on you. It's not gonna be a good time is what I'm trying to say. I need to stop like rapid tapping L1 and get better at just timing this stuff out. That's the truth, man. That's the truth. Alright, there we go. Now since this one's dead, there's gonna be one more over here, which I'm gonna try to stealth kill since hopefully he didn't hear anything this time around. He actually might be trying to walk back. Oh, here he is. <laughs> I almost walked right up to him. Oh, apparently you can... I guess you can stealth kill him from this way. I bet that's what you're supposed to do. Is you're probably supposed to come up this way, right? And then stealth kill him from hanging down that ledge. But, uh, alright. Well, good to know. Learning new things. Every time you play this game. Every time I play this game. Because I'm kind of going down pre-established paths that I know... But I should be trying new things still, because it's only my third real time playing since I haven't finished my new game plus play. And I don't think I've actually gone down this path yet in new game plus. But yeah, all right, so we can rest at this. And to show this, you can go this way, and I'll just show it off, but it's going to be a dead end at the moment. Uh, just remember that bridge area up there. And I'm going to go further and actually go into this area for my. Redemption Tour 2019, Giraffe Times number two. And this time you can't stealth kill him. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shoot. Boom, boom, boom. Lost my timing for a second. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why aren't you doing any of your damn jump attacks? There it is. There it is. Just wanted to get one of the kills. 
Nope, 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 nope. Oh, shoot, shoot. It's hard. I can't see anything. The camera in this game can be really bad. I'm, I don't think I'm the only person. I think I've seen that as a common complaint with this game. This is honestly a guy that you can rapid R2 and usually do pretty well against as a heads up. Because he attacks so much that it, it's probably just going to work. The rapid R2 is good for these kinds of guys. Yeah, look, it's just so easy this time around. And that's why I was so pissed that I, I did so bad against the guy before. Because usually I don't. Alright, so you get the large fan. A large fan made of dyed red Japanese areola leaves can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Fanning it creates a large vortex of wind, spiriting away those who ca it catches. Remember that term, spiriting away, for the large fan. Divine abduction through an eight-handed fan. Once is fine, but twice you'll never return. If abducted, we'll head to Mount Kongo. At Senpo Temple, we'll perform virtuous deeds. All of those things, uh, the fact that it's Mount Kongo, worth remembering, and just what it does overall. And uh, this is actually going to be locked. So this is yet another path that is blocked off until a story progression moment. However, what we can do is explore a little deeper in that I'm going to go ahead and do. So yellow gunpowder, and there's a whole bunch that we can find if we go this way. This way. To the right, all you really find is an item sparkling, but you don't know where it is. And I don't know if I really ever honestly figured out specifically where that was. I just know that if you explore fully, you, you eventually get it. I've just never figured out where that connection point is, honestly. And here we go. New little spot for us to explore. So this is actually where that cave is going to be from before. Um, notice all the lizards up here. There's an item up ahead that you can get. But it's better to just kill all the lizards. Because if you get the item, all of them will come down at once. So if you kill all the lizards, they won't do that. So, and all these guys spew poison. So it's, you'll probably survive. It's just incredibly likely that you will get poisoned. Or maybe you'll have to use like one of your resurrections. One of those things will happen. Um, but yeah, there's just like tons and tons of poisonous lizards here. And I feel like I should show you guys some of the fact that that happens, so maybe I'll keep one of them alive. Just to show you the fact that they drop. And that's the uh, the reason for it. Where is he? He, well, he just went through the wall. Alright. Are there any more over here? Yeah, okay. There's another one right there. And I don't know if it- oh, there we go! Divine Confetti, finally. And that was three Divine Confetti, nice. So next time I can actually go down that route. Uh, oh, I thought this... Okay, there he goes. Now he actually dropped on his own, I think. And that guy's just gone forever, that other one. Okay. Fine. Can't go that way, so we'll go ahead and continue f over this way, in this direction. And just jump for it. Why not? All right, this area's a little dangerous. Um, can you hit this guy right here? No. Uh, and you'll see why in a moment. There's just a whole bunch of enemies who are going to start attacking you with various status effects. So yeah, you can see the lizards are shooting poison down at me. These guys are going to try to burn you. Like, I killed one of them, and I think there's only two. So at least, like, oh no, there's three. So that's just how many there are. I don't know. That was cool. I didn't know you could kill them like that. Uh, yeah, and the lizards, you got to jump for. And pretty likely I'm going to get poisoned at this point. But that's okay. I've got enough healing. That's not going to be a big deal if I do get poisoned. But at least I won't get flamed too or burned. So at least only one of the things is gonna happen to me. Hey, let me get you! Damn it! Yeah, I got poisons. It's not. That's fine. Although there's only one more lizard left, right? Where is he? Killing them too when you're poisoned is helpful if you have the the effect that I have, where you gain health for doing the death blow. So it's not a big deal. Here's yet another prayer bead. This is one of the ones that you can find through exploration. Another thing that we find here is contact medicine, which is for poison use, so that makes sense. Maybe that contact medicine, actually, maybe that's what you see through that hole. Like, this might be the hole over there, the other side of it. Uh, yeah, so that's everything in this end for the most part. So you can leave the way that we uh, came from to get through here, but if you remember, there's that, that little bridge area so we're going to go ahead and try to find that bridge area from before. And honestly, if you start just leaving naturally, you'll probably end up just sort of finding it. 
So yeah, I think this is actually leading to, yeah, so this is the bridge. So just even like we're trying to leave, you kind of just naturally come to it. And now we're actually at the spot that we were at before where the spirit um, emblems were, so. Yeah. Got a bunch of prayer bees, and that's actually all of the Sunken Valley wrapped up for what we can do, all of Mount Congo wrapped up for what we can do. So now at this point, I could go to Hirata Estate, or I could go to yet another possible path uh, for one of the two ways, where I could use the Divine Confetti that I just got to go through, or I can... Uh, or I could go yet a different route and go through the Ash Ashina Reservoir. So let's go ahead and get the prosthetic equipped, and that's going to wrap up this episode. So, yeah, sorry. Again, a little frustration with that mid-boss. A lot of times the mid-bosses bother me more than the main bosses in the game, or just are more of a struggle for me. And bother me, I guess it's fair to say that, honestly. You need... Uh, yeah, I want you to fit a new prosthetic for me, please. So I can get my sweet divine abduction. Oh, actually, something I didn't really point out that I should have is that the guy over here, I, he sells a gourd seed, and I don't think I pointed that out. Hey. So let's go ahead and look at his purchase items. So he sells a gourd seed, really worth noting. So that could be number eight for us at this point. So guys, that's going to wrap me up. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Later, guys. Peace.